Miss Queenie here. Oh, I need to put some gold on that. Okay, that should be dry. That's dry. I painted that earlier, but... Oh, I don't need to list you, so... There we go. Okay. So... Hi! <laughs> I know. I haven't been live for a long, long time. So... And I've been wanting to do this for a while. This head is actually... Um, I don't know if you can see it the big B on her face, um, from Ibis, right? So she does amazing work. Is this gonna do the same thing? Okay. Um, and I was gonna do like um, a beehive wig on it, but I decided, well, no, I, I like this one better. And sometimes when you, I got this wig on Amazon, it's really pretty, it's thick, it brushes really well, um, and it was only like maybe 15 bucks. So if you're looking for a nice wig um, for yourself or even for your creations, try looking at Amazon. Um, we are going to decorate her with a lot of florals and a big bow. I got this stand at Hobby Lobby and right now it's in their, it's in their spring section so it's like 20% off. Hold on, let me get out of my life and get back in because I'm not seeing comments. Facebook has such issues, such issues. Okay. Okay, let's show the comments, but there's only one person that's commented, so I don't know if it's working or not. Anyway, um, got a lot of florals. I thought I had some moss to put on here, but I think we have enough florals that it will should work. I don't because I don't have any moss. But like I said, we have enough florals that I think we should hide this. Um so but what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna glue these two pieces together. Because that way I can put this in the box and then I can put this upside down like this in the box and that way I don't have to use such a big box. So we're going to create, let me take the tag off. This is in their spring collection. Um, the number for this is 5432919. They have one in a bigger one and taller as well but we're just gonna put her up here that way they can put it on top when they get it it's gonna be really hard to package this if it's stuck together um and if they don't want to put it on this stool they can use the stool for something else and they could just put this on the counter so we're gonna see um Hold on, I think Facebook's having issues. You guys do me a favor, if you guys can make a comment so I can see if comments are working. I would appreciate it. Come on. Hey Cindy! Hey, hey, hey! And if you guys could do me a favor, if you could sprinkle the love, I would appreciate it. So I'm gonna get started um, with the bow. So I've got some, I've got this really pretty bee ribbon that I've been dying to make. Isn't it cute? Woohoo! And some, I have a little bit of black velvet on this roll left a little bit. We should have enough to make a little bow with it. I'm not gonna make a huge bow. Um, I'm going to need my little pins, and I have my handy dandy um, pick machine here, so we're going to use that. I got this ribbon on Etsy from 
Ex Gina Exquisite Designs. I don't know if she has any more, but um, let me see. Okay, so this is the kind of ribbon that it's, you'll need to fold it and then refold it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, it's already folded, but I'm gonna put some glue right here because we're gonna glue this edge together. You have to burn yourself. That way we have a nice finished edge. And this is like a really, it's like a thick, um, I don't know, it's like a canvas or it feels like a canvas with a polyester on the back. And it's checkered on the back and it's cute. All right, so I think I'm gonna put one right over here. So I'm gonna make my tails fairly short. Like maybe like, oh, maybe a little bit longer. Cause once I twist it, oh, you guys have to show you. Let me get my bow dabber, hold up. I use my dope bow dabber to basically just hold my ribbon. I make all my bows by hand, but my hands are so small that uh, it's hard to hold sometimes. We're not gonna do a huge bow. Just something like that. Okay. And cut this down here. So let's put this in here. That way I can use my hands for something else. Did you guys see those pictures that I posted on <laughs> On Saturday of all that snow that we got. <laughs> I woke up Saturday morning and I was just like, well, so much for winter. You know, you want to kind of move up like that and make sure they're even. Okay. So I'm going to fold this over. Put some just glue down at the bottom. You guys might hear my dog back there. Okay. Short and up. See, this side is really long. Just pull that. Okay, there. That looks even. Then, I'm going to take my... Oh, honey, you can have more snow. It's gone now. It all melted. It's all gone. It's like, really? <laughs> all right. So I'm going to go ahead and dovetail the end of this one. Um, this is black velvet. I think I got from Craft Outlet. Okay. I'm going to make the loop fairly long because if I put a flower in it, I just still want you to see the, the loop. Okay. And I have these cute bees to put in it. Are these cute? I have the big one too, but I'm like, mm, it might be too, I'm like, I don't, it's too big. So I'll save that one. So how I do this when I'm doing a, um, a centerpiece like this is I'm going to be getting a zip tie. Hey, Deborah, how are you? Oh my gosh, Cindy, that's so funny. And I'm going to get a um, coral pen. So what I do is I take my bow and turn it in my hand. My zip tie. Okay. Now before I tie it all the way, I'm going to stick my... Coral pin in there. Then I'm going to 
I need my um, middle nails pliers to do this. That way I can get more grip and just pull on it. And then I'll clip this. There we go. Now you have something to put that in there. And I also glue it as well so it'll, it won't move around. Okay, so I'm done with this. That's all gonna fall, I can see it already. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and dovetail this one. And the reason why I'm just using, I'm not touching the glue. <laughs> I am notorious, you guys, for sticking my fingers in the glue. Nope. My hands are so used to being in the glue. Okay, there we go. It's just like that. And it's not fluffed yet, but we're gonna put some glue in the back. Back here. Maybe I'm gonna put like right here. So, this looks like it's gonna be too long for here. So here's a little trick. Cut your tongs shorter. Okay. So it's not as long. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue in here. And some glue back here. So it'll stick. And we're just gonna stick that right there. I'm not gonna hold that for just a second. Our glue dries or cooled off so I can move that around. Cute so far, huh? And these you can curl these like that. The guys have been watching the Johnny Depp drama show. <laughs> That's what I call it. It's like really. longer until that dries. Sorry. Sometimes you just gotta wait until it dries, right? Thank you, Cindy. I, you know, I haven't been watching it at all. I just see little blurbs every now and then of different scenes on like TikTok or Reels or something somebody puts on their feed or something like that. <laughs> I'm just like, you know, I've got enough drama in my own life. I don't need to watch somebody else's, but some of it is pretty comical, you know? <laughs> Although I am Cindy, I am for, for Johnny. I've always been a big fan of his. Although I'm really disappointed that what Disney did to him, that's pretty jacked up. Let's see here. Second. Okay, I think it's in there a lot. No. Um, I've seen a little I know they have it on uh YouTube as well. Some of the, you know, I don't like to judge people without knowing them first, but when I watch Amber on stage, you can totally tell she's lying. And her fake crying, it's like, now's not time to, to practice your acting career. Just saying. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep my, so I'm just gonna let that sit and get all, it. So I got a, a different variety of flowers here. I got some daisies and some little sunflowers. Aren't these pretty? I got these at uh, Hobby Lobby, 50% off. They're regularly $3.99. 
Yeah, I do that. You know, Dana, the only time I usually use a zip tie to tie my bows is if I'm doing something like this. Um, other than that, I usually, because I'm using an evergreen most of the time, and so I just use the ties to tie it. So, um, yeah, center pieces, I, I usually use a, a zip tie and a floral pin if I'm using start foam. Okay, so I'm just cutting these. Hopefully this won't take too long, but you know me, I take forever. So I think what I'm gonna do is I wanna put one here in the middle of this bow. So I'm gonna cut this down at the base because I want it flat like that. And then we're gonna add that yellow. See how that black just makes it pop. Hey, Susan. But um, before when I was using um, regular wreath forms, I did use zip ties to tighten my, my bows. Okay, so now we can kind of fluff these a little bit. Just a second. I got this little mini glue gun the other day, and I love it because it's got this little detailed tip. Oh my god, it is amazing when you're using trim. Uh, I love it. Love it. Okay, there we go. Love it. There. And then I can put like a little bee in there that'll be really cute. <laughs> we'll see. I may, for these bees, I may put like a little wire in there and glue it so it can kind of stick out like that, but we'll see. Hey, 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 Lori, how are you? Oh, thank you for coming, Dana. Um, I usually don't, you know, I used to do lives all the time, but once I started doing, um, these attachments, I just kind of, I didn't lose um, interest, but I just got busy. So I'm going to put, this is a stiffen enough, I want to start doing lives again. So this is a stiff enough um, stem. We're just going to stick this in here. And I have not done a center piece in so long. Okay, I'm going to stick that one out like that. And, and I do not have this glued onto this, so I gotta watch and make sure I don't push it off. So, I think what I'm gonna do is leave that one. I'm just gonna hold it. There we go. I'm gonna build it that way. I want some a little bit longer, some shorter. That way it gives dimension. Aw, thank you, Susan. You're so sweet. You guys, Susan Chatterton, if you are looking for mannequin heads like this, she makes awesome chatter head, uh, chatter heads, I'm sorry, mannequin heads just like this. I got this one from Iovith, but Susan, <laughs> with Sue's Passion Designs, she made me this vampire one that I'm going to do for Halloween. O-M-G. It's awesome. I wish I would have brought it in to show you. Oh, speaking of. Hey, Denise, how are you? Speaking of, I'm going to be doing some Halloween pretty soon. I have to show you this. Oh, my God. This is not a me. Look at how big this is. It's not like my head's real small, but look at how huge this is. This is by Originals by J.A.H. Julie Hall. Oh, my goodness she's done four different witches and she does the pipe cleaners in the back isn't that awesome oh i think i'm going to do this one next monday on a live so stay tuned for that and then i think i may go live on friday too um it's hockey season so but um i got an attachment from be delighted creations and it's gonna be so cute so cute 
Yay, Bertha! Oh, you're welcome. Oh, thank you, Kara, for the stars. I appreciate it. You're amazing. So, yes, I'm going to do Halloween next week. I kind of I kind of skipped summer. I don't know. I'm just not in the summer decorating mood. I don't really ever do patriotic. And I don't know. Summer is like the least of my favorites to design for some reason. I'm going to start doing some greenery around. So I've got some, um, what was this called again? I keep wanting to say angel hair, but it's not angel hair. It's angel something. I'm just going to cut these off because I know I'm going to use all of them. You guys, if you're looking for a good pair of pliers, these are awesome. They buy Kinepix. Um, and these are the 7101200. That's the number that's on them. I got these on Amazon. Saves my hands. It does. All right, so I want this to kind of drape down. So I'm going to kind of split this. I don't want it so much of it, but, and these limbs are kind of flimsy. So one thing you can do if you don't have a pick machine like I do is you can wrap, um, wire around it. Hobby Lobby has these, um, they're like green little spikes that's got wire on it. And you can do that with this. Wait, I think I'm going to stick this under here, but I am going to cut this a little bit, I think, because my styrofoam was only that thick. But yes, if you're looking for um, some mannequin heads, Susan from Sue's Passion Design does them. She's amazing. I've got a lot of heads from her. She made me a sexy pirate. I'm gonna cut this down a little bit. You're probably gonna hear the TV. I may have to close the door here a little bit. You guys, if the TV is too loud, let me know. He's gonna be watching hockey. Um, Dana, I got these on Amazon. Um, they're Kinepex, K-N-I-P-E-X. I don't know if you can read that. If it gets too close, it doesn't want to focus. Like I said, I'm just going to kind of, well, I'm going to see if this will, that's too long. I can just tell already. No, um, I've been so busy with orders. This is the first chance I've gotten to actually design anything since I've made that bridal one. The wreath. So I'm excited. Okay. So I'm going to kind of go around. Aw, thank you, Amy. You're so sweet. Oh, this didn't go on very well. Hey, Tanya, how are you? No, but I cannot wait. I am so eager to start my Halloween. Halloween is like my favorite. I'm just going to kind of bend this a little bit like this so it's not sticking straight out. And I am cutting this in half a little bit because, like I said, my styrofoam is only that thick. And so, and the pins are about that thick. So they're going to hit the, the wood that it's on if I don't cut these in half. But that's okay. Since this is styrofoam, it goes in really easy, just like that. Aw, uh, thank you, Bertha. I appreciate the stars. 
You guys, I am so excited. I am almost to 10,000 followers on my page. And once I hit 10,000, I'm gonna be having a big giveaway. It's probably gonna be like a gift, a Visa gift card. That way, um, people that, oh come on, really? You're gonna do this to me now? People that, you know, don't buy craft stuff, um, that buy my wreaths and stuff like that, you know, people can use it for other stuff. With inflation the way it is these days, um, you know, I don't want to restrict it to just craft stuff. So it'll probably be like a, oh, you're so sweet, Linda. Thank you, Susan. It'll probably be like a $100 gift card or Visa gift card. So stay tuned for that. We're getting closer. So make sure you sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. See how it sticks straight out like that? We're just going to bend that just like that. All right, let me take a look at it. Put this some more. Like I said, I'm just cutting these in half because I don't want them so long. I got these at um, Hobby Lobby. You know, and they also have these in like the garland as well. So if they're out of it in the greenery section, you can get the garland and cut them. Um, now, if you're looking for a pick machine like this, you can find them at Walmart. They are a little spendy. I think, um, I think, oh, oh, mm. see, I burn myself every single time. Um, I think Deco Exchange has them as well. So check there. But I got mine at Hobby Lobby. They're like, I don't know, I want to say like 100 or 200 and something. Sometimes you can find them online. The people are just trying to get rid of them. Thank you, Tanya. You are so welcome, Dana. Hey, Sharon, how are you? Thank you for coming, hon. Yeah, if you guys saw those, those pictures I posted on Saturday of that, um, I'm not putting so much glue on that, it's gonna drip of the snow storm that we got, holy cow. We got, I kid you not, we got like, uh, it was like six to eight inches of snow. It's crazy. You know, when you wake up Saturday morning, you're like, this is not, it was 90 degrees two days before then. 90 degrees and shorts and tank tops and then two days later I'm in my snow boots and ski jackets it's like mother nature needs to get it together I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on here because that's why I put too much on it wasn't wanting to drip so and what will happen is I don't have any moss I thought I did because otherwise I was going to wrap this in moss so you didn't see the white. But when we get done, if I can still see the white, then I'll probably just go to Hobby Lobby and um, get some and just kind of fill it in. Oh, you got yours from eBay? Yeah, I love eBay. I used to buy stuff from eBay all the time. I'm just kind of going around and filling this in. Okay. Now, I think what I'm going to do is also start sticking them down here on the top. I love my pick machine. I love it. It's expensive piece of equipment, but to me, it is so worth it. It's saved me, I don't know how many times. I'm just going to kind of stick 
that like that. I just have to start. So, so what's been going on with you guys? Oh. It's been crazy here. Just when I start to get caught up on orders, I get another round of them. And trust me, I'm not complaining by any means. I'm very blessed, but I want to work on something else. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's like, I love what I do, though. I am very blessed. The fact that God's given me the opportunity to be able to stay home and do what I love full time, I couldn't ask for anything more. You haven't created with a mannequin head yet? I thought you have. Huh. Okay. I'm turn this around. I'm going to put one right underneath here. And I just kind of grabbed whatever I had in my storage for greenery. I'm trying to be a good girl and not spend a lot of money. I have got an order coming up for Christmas stuff soon. Those jewels are gonna be coming soon. So exciting. And new Christmas ribbons. I know, and everybody's still in the summer mode, but you know how it goes. out so pretty. Okay, so there's enough of that. I'm not turning up pretty so far. I was make sure I got this on here. I was thinking about getting the bigger one, but I'm like, mm, I don't know. Thank you, Bertha. Uh, the cutter is Kinepex. It's K-N-I-P-E-X. -N -N I don't know if you guys can read that or not. There we go. Kinepex. Love them. Okay, I got some of these. Kind of add some different texture. I got these from Hobby or from um, Michaels. I had this sitting on my kitchen table this morning and I hadn't even bought this yet. And I'm like, if I put flowers and stuff in here. It's just going to be laying all over the table. I need to sit this on something. So that's when I decided it needs to sit high. But like I said, I'm going, when I pack this to ship it, I'm going to be, I'm not going to connect the stand and the base of this at all. So that way I can put this in the box and then I can turn the stand upside down. Um, and put it in the box as well. So I don't have to use one as big a box and two it is going to be so difficult to wrap this thing um if it's this tall trust me i've done it before it's it's a pain in the butt i love my styrofoam hands love them okay i'm just trying to get the greenery in first and placed So I can start adding some flowies. It's not touching the glue, Michelle. There we go. There. That gives a little bit of different something something right there. And these are really long, so you can always cut these. I was um I actually had an idea to make a pumpkin attachment this year. 
And I have my scarecrow that I that I make every year, but I'm like, hmm, oh, that right can go there. But I don't know if I'm gonna make it or not. Cause I'm starting my, my bridal stuff too. And I'd really like to get that going, even though it's kind of late in the season for bridal, but people do get married in the winter. So I sold my first bridal thing the other day. I was so excited. So excited. I, I don't know if you guys saw it. It was that gold um, brooch bouquet that I made. Oh my god, everything was so sparkly, it wasn't even funny. Touching the glue, touching. Yes. Hey, Susan. Hey, 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 girl. How are you? Thank you for coming, you guys. I appreciate it. I know I haven't been live for a long time, so I appreciate you guys coming. Okay. And it looks like I may end up having to get some moss to put in here. Just fine. Normally I would just put the moss in here first, but I could have swore I had some. You know when you think you have something and you're like, I know I had some. I've seen it before. And you're always like, I'm gonna put this in a spot where I won't forget it. Girl, just saying. Just saying. Oh, good. I'm glad, Susan. Your stuff is amazing. I love your stuff. Susan Skelton, that's oh. also very talented. Okay. I'll put one right here. Let's see, I'm going to turn this. Got a lot right here. I'm trying to have a hole right here. I got one for the next time. <laughs> uh, I know, I don't know. I'd have to look. Let me see. You mean as far as the handle, everything? It's eight inches all the way. It's, yeah, these are the eight. Uh, it says, I don't know if you guys can read that or not blurry can you guys read that it's the uh three comma six millimeter i don't know i love them love them okay let's see here let's put some i love these things love them I love, these are my favorite daisies. I get them at Hobby Lobby. Love them. They have them in cream and in white. I use them all summer long. Okay. All they do? I didn't know they did. I think mine are the eight. Because when I put it on my board, it's from tip to end of the handle, it's eight inches. So I'm assuming that's eight inch. I was thinking about getting six inch, but I'm like, mm, I don't know. 
I'll just get this one. Okay. Love these. I'm not going to keep the granary on them as well. Um, it'll also act like a little filler. And if you want to bend your flower down a little bit, these ones will kind of stick up a little bit. This middle flower is wired. These two are not. So they're kind of, these two are kind of airy. The other ones are, the one in the middle is wired. I know, right, Susan? Love them. Aw, thank you, Susan. Oh, you did? I'll have to, yeah, I want to see it. close to the, there we go. So I want you to still see this part. I don't want to hide that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this one up, cut this one in the middle, and I'm going to put one down here like that. And then put this one up in here. I'm just going to glue it. I like to put stuff on my bones too. Okay. I have some little bees too that I get from Hobby Lobby that I probably put in here too. I do too, Susan. It just, it drives me nuts. I mean, I've got like baby hands. Uh, it's, that's why it's so hard for me. I make my bows handmade instead of using a bow maker, but I have to use my bow dabra in order to hold everything because I've got these, you know, dainty baby hands. I don't okay. And I'm just sticking these in there. Um, instead of using the, because the stem is stiff enough, that I will, I'm not going to waste them if I don't need them, right? Are you moving, Susan? I'm just kind of alternating it this way. Okay, I got a bunch of these, but I want to also start putting in some. I'm going to put another set like right down here. Oh yeah, I agree. It's worth every penny. Every penny. Like I said, my husband, you get what you pay for, right? You're gonna buy cheap, you're gonna get cheap. These are like, I love these daisies. Okay. Let's 
see what we got here. She's looking so pretty. Okay. Now I got some more of those, but I think I'm going to add some of these white ones. I got a little bit of these, um, what are these, jasmine? I think these are called jasmine. I'm going to add a few of these just so I can use them up. Keep him in my prayers, hon. You drive, you drive safe, fly safe. I'm gonna keep these leaves on them as well. Uh, this thing, the only thing I don't like about this machine sometimes is this little feeder likes to get stuck or yeah. it pulls two out at a time gets jammed but you know all in all that's a good machine oh, cramp on my foot okay so I think I'm gonna stick this one like right here behind okay stick it down behind I got three of them, so I may stick one like this. I'm gonna hold on to this because it's not wrapped. Go in. There we go. And then I'm gonna stick one maybe right here. I know we got a lot of white and yellow going on, which is why I put that black um, ribbon in there. Okay. And I think I'm going to put them on this side. I think I might cut. Put that right there. It's just like um, if you're not used to florals, just like any, you know, practice makes perfect, you know, what they always say. But um, you always want to place your florals before you put them in so you know where you want them. Okay. What do you guys think so far? Cute little bees. And I got some of these. These are cute. There's quite a few of these actually. Got these at Hobby Lobby. I never, well, I can't say never. Most, 90% of the time, I buy my flowers 50% off. Every now and then, I'll buy my flowers, you know, if it's. I'll put this one like right here. Um, if I need it really fast for a project and I don't have it, you would think by looking at my storage unit that I would have every flower available under the sun, but I don't. Okay. Here was me sliding. There we go. There. You just want to manipulate your flowers so they look more natural. You know, it's funny, there's, I've done pretty much most kind of designs, grapevines, evergreens, swags, you know, you name it, I've pretty much done it, but I, uh, grapevines are not my favorite. Thank you, Tanya. It was um, Susan Chatterton by Wissou's Passion Designs. 
Oh, I'm sorry. No, Ivis. Ivis Wright painted this one. So I do have a vampire head coming on pretty soon. I'm so eager to start my Halloween. This one like right under here. Looks like I might need to get some moss. Cause I don't think I'm gonna be able to fill all that in to where you're not gonna be able to see the white. But that's okay. That's quite cool. alright. Let's see if I can stick that right there. See, I've got so many, I've got so many mannequin heads right now. It's like, ooh, I want that one. Ooh, I like that one too. And I just buy it. I, I kid you not, I've got like 10 mannequin heads. Um, I've got a zombie pirate. I've got a sexy pirate. I got a vampire. Um, I've got the girl blowing a bubble. I got a sweet swine. All right, I'm just getting my flowers. And I've got a mermaid, a vampire. Oh, I hate it when these come off. So yeah, I was just like, I can't buy any more heads. Although the one Susan just did with the pink and blue patches on it. Oh my God, so cute. I know, Susan, right? Her heads are amazing. You could put some butterflies in this too if you really wanted to. And their butterflies are really hot this year. Butterflies and bees. They're always hot, hot, hot. Butterflies and bees. Oh, 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 bam. I know, right? I loved that one. I loved, I saw that and I was like, oh, I want that one. I had said, Michelle, no. You have enough heads already. I don't, doesn't that sound weird? You have enough heads. <laughs> I mean, who says that? I do. Let's see our little bear back here. We need to get some gr more greenery and fill in back. But I do have some more filler flowers and greenery back here that we can fill it with. What designs are you guys working on? Are you still working on summer? Have you started fall? Fall designs seem to, uh, and Halloween seem to be starting early this year. So, and that's okay. It's my favorite season. Where's the stem in this thing here? I'm gonna push this one up because, oops, wrong one. Long stem. There we go. Let's cooperate. There we go. Um,. Oh, I got the wig from Amazon. That's where I get all my wigs from. Um, in fact, I need to order the one for the vampire one here pretty soon. It's going to be red and black. They got some really pretty wigs on there. And I, you know, um, it's hard to trust reviews sometimes because basically you're just, you're basing your decision on somebody else's opinion, right? Without looking at it. Um, so I don't know, to me, it's a little touch and go. I've, I've gotten something where it was had like a four and a half star review and it, it was horrible. So, but as far as the wigs go, I haven't really had a lot of problems with any of them, to be honest. I'm going to kind of cut this one a little bit. 
like that pink and that pastel one I did for my my bunny. I got that one for from Amazon. I don't know why I did that, but I'm talking and not paying attention. Hall and Halloween. Halloween. I haven't started my Halloween yet. I'm feeling so behind already, but it's May. So I don't know I'm not behind. We're just starting Halloween really early this year. Okay, let's see here. We'll put one down there. I'm not blaming my angel. Angel started it. Angel, it's all your fault. <laughs> no. I love angels. Her Halloween is so amazing. So amazing. My favorite. She's going to be getting a skelly here pretty soon, I know. And I can't wait to see it. It's so awesome. Okay, let's see here. Let's take a look at I think I need one right here. And I think I'm going to make it fairly long. So I want to bend it and kind of push it up like that. There we go. Like that. Isn't that cute? All right, so I'm gonna save some of these. I can always add more if I need to. Um, I got some of these I'm gonna add. Just for some more wispy. I don't wanna overfill it. Um, just because, you know, you don't want it overbearing. I'm gonna cut these in half. zone you guys you know me if you've been following me for a while when I get that zone I just I forget like I'm on a live I'm like oh yeah people are waiting for me to talk to them <laughs> I'm sorry I have more of these too if I need them but um So yes, this one, the yellow one, I got on Amazon. This crown, I know they have them on Amazon, um, and they also have them on Etsy, but I think I actually got this one, this big one from my wholesaler. Let me show you the other one I have too. Um, I have a wholesaler that I get my crowns from, because I do collect them as well. This one's, I was going to make another beehive with this one. Sorry, I just, isn't that pretty? <gasps> oh, but I think I'm going to save this one for something else. But um, yeah, you can get them on Amazon. But I would look for the best deal because not Amazon doesn't always have the best deal on tiaras and crowns, like on eBay. You know, Google, there's um, a site I used to get crowns from, and they say it's wholesale, but they have very priced wholesale. I mean, it's still cheaper than some, but thank you. Thank you, Bertha. Um, it's called Wedding, Wedding Factory Direct, and they have tons of them. I used to get um, my tiaras from them a while back when I used to sell my tiaras because I had a wedding business a long time ago. Okay, I want to kind of push. I've got, let's see, how many I have? Four. Okay, 
lot it a little bit in the front. I'm not gonna worry so much about the back because people aren't gonna see it. I mean, you know, I'm gonna fill in the back, obviously, but um, I'm not gonna fill it up like the front. Not the best one right here. No, I don't need to get a hold of it. There we go. But yeah, just um, Google Tierras and tons of stores will come up with them. I know, right? I I <laughs> I have a few friends that call me the bling queen. My sister and I, are, that's about the only thing that we are alike in, is anything shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Okay. Put this one up here. I feel like I didn't bring enough flowers. But you know what? <laughs> I've been known to, I just over, I'm one of those people that fill up my wreaths and I, I don't know when to stop. Yes, bridal shops are going to um, mark them up quite a bit though. But I mean, if you're only gonna be using it once, I mean, you know, it might be worth it. Okay. She's looking so pretty. I even have little tiny bees in here. Be cute. Okay. So I do have these are so fun. I these are one of my favorite. Where's the other one? Oh here, there's two on one. These are my favorite. I love these, these big hops. I get them at, um, I want to say it's either Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I don't remember. I don't remember. But I got two on one of them. And this one, I'm going to take those off. I'm going to hang this one in the front and these two towards the back. This one hanging down pretty far. It's got a tough enough hand here that I'm gonna just stick it right in there without getting glue in my hand. There we go. My hands are like numb to this stuff already. Isn't that cute? I love these hops. Love it. On everything. <laughs> I would too if I could. I would. I really would. <laughs> I am with you. I would put crowns and tiaras on everything. Okay, so I got one there. There's the back, so I'm gonna stick one right here and one right here. Because I only have three. Okay. This one's gonna need a why I stopped doing my bridal stuff. I mean I, it's my it's actually my favorite. I love doing bridal stuff. You know, you're always going to have a wedding, right? And, you know, it's it's like you're always going to have a birth. You're always going to have a wedding. You're always going to have a death. Not necessarily in that order, but you get my drift. So, um, you know, it's one thing that you can kind of count on that will always be there. Just like, you know, every like when I was in the mortgage business, it's everybody's going to buy a house at some point. Not everyone, but everyone buys a house. Hey Kim, how are you? Thank you for coming, hon. Okay, pull that out, pull that out like that. Not the ribbon to be seen. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put in some more of this. This is, sorry. This is like one of my favorite greeneries from Hobby Lobby. Love it. This stuff I think I'm just gonna kinda cut in pieces. Um, just because I want it to be more of a filler. And I'm going to kind of put some, because these slide, so you want to put some glue on them. Okay. What are you guys thinking so far? Oh, baby showers are your favorite? I've never really done a baby shower, but... Um, that would be fun, I would think. Weddings are my favorite, though. Because you know, weddings have a lot of bling. Tiaras, glitter, crystals, flowers. What's not to love, right? Right. All right, so I'm just gonna stick this one right here. Bend them with the stem. Love all of this. Love these. Um, no, these actually I got from um, Michaels. I was there the other day to get some. I'm out of it. Oh, oh thank you, Cam. Okay. I've done that before. I've hit a deer before and they just they can be so damaging. They're big animals and they're dumb. I mean not to be mean, but they are. <laughs> they don't they don't understand I guess I shouldn't say they're dumb. They're just uh they don't understand vehicles. They don't. I'm going to cut these off the stem because the stem is getting in my way and it Okay. So I'm going to cut this one. Here. Now with these stems, when they push up like that, you want to make sure that you glue it right here at this little nodule and let that sit or your top piece can come off. some coming up the side a little bit. I want to make sure I don't, oops, I don't want to get this in her hair. One thing you don't want to do is get glue in these wigs because you will never get it out. It's like I've got some other flowers too. We can fill this in with if we need to, but. I mean, what do I have first? I know I'm gonna end up having to probably be put some some moss in there because you can still see quite a bit of the white. That's okay. I'll just have to go to hog and get some. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> I have to go to Hobby Lobby again? Well, I'm glad you're okay. That's the most important thing. Those darn deer, they just jump right out in front of you. I hit one one time. 
and luckily I, I was going really slow because it was on the freeway and I could I saw it out of the side of my my um, peripheral vision but the deer started to come across I was stopped and on the way because we all saw them and I was like okay I'm gonna stop and go across across the road and I wasn't paying attention I was looking at something else and I thought the deer had crossed in front of me to go the other way it decided to turn around and go back so I decided to start to go and I accidentally bumped it in the hip and I'm like Ugh. it's like make up your mind <laughs> Dang deer. And my husband accidentally hit a, a little family of skunks the other day. I felt bad. I mean, yeah, they're stinky animals, but they're still animals, right? Let me put this one right here because there's a lot of white. See, I'm gonna put more of the flowers in the front and more of the greenery in the back. I love this stuff. My favorites. It's okay to put the bees in. I got some really fun bees that we could put in here too. Okay, I just want to show you guys can still see this. Okay. stick this one. I'm just kind of just filling in the holes at this point. So these deer are crazy. And they'll just stand there in the middle of the road as you're coming towards them just like getting almost done you guys I think put one right underneath here Oop. Okay, that's for the other side Yeah, see what I mean? They just stand there like, what? Aww. I know there's nothing you could do though. I mean, they're standing in the middle of the road and what you see and it's all, it's like, you can't just slam on your brakes because then you're going to cause an accident. So it's like, what do you do, you know? Crazy. I almost hit a cougar one time. It was crazy. And it was like four o'clock in the morning, so it was dark. And I was actually, that's when I was working up in Denver. So that was like an hour and a half drive for me every morning. So glad I don't do that anymore. That was a pain in the butt, especially in the snow. And um, I just happened to see something out of the corner of my eye moving. And I was in the fast lane. Luckily, it jumped right next to my car and there was no, nobody next to me and I was actually able to get into the next lane but I'm like are you kidding me that was a freaking cougar it was huge those cats are big the big as a tall you know as big as a deer all I saw was its head and its tail it was crazy all right let's see See, so I've got quite a bit in the front. I'm 
Again, what's right underneath here? some more of this I have some projects coming up I have some but they're for projects I have coming up I don't want to use it because now they're out of it and I'm afraid if I use it I won't find it again which is why we all hoard everything I'm gonna do I've got quite a bit going on where it, whoops where it bring it goes I think what I'm gonna do because I can see some of the the white left so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby and get some moss and put it in there and it's just mostly in the back Normally I would cover it with moss before I put all this in there, but I thought I had some and I didn't. I'm sure I'll probably find it after the live, because you know, <laughs> just how it happens, I guess. So I got these two big deer. Oh, sorry. I have these two <laughs> big bees. <laughs> talking about deer and I'm like a deer stuck on the brain um and I have some of these little fun little bees I'm gonna stick some of those in there so but what I think I'm gonna do because I've got some little tiny bees I'm gonna fill this thing with bees because she is the queen bee right I have a big bag of these bees and I was collecting them last year because I was doing some bee balls so I'm gonna make sure I have <laughs> I know, right? And I got this big deer to put on her head. <laughs> oh, you know, what can you do? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of put these on these sunflowers. I'm going to the glue stick, sorry. I'm going to go right in front of you. I got three bees and three of these flowers, so that works out good. Yeah, I'm exhausted. It's been a long day. I feel like it should be Friday already. <laughs> You know, right? <laughs> Look at this large deer. Wait, did I just say that? Yes, yes I did. Right here. There. Okay. We're almost done, you guys. Isn't she pretty? She's so pretty. She's sparkly. Okay, so, because I don't want to fill any too many flowers. Um, I like the greenery and then a few flowers on this one. But what I'm going to do, uh, I've got these. I say anytime you have, like, something that's got a, a wire stem on it and you're cutting the top off, save, the, save these stems. They come in handy. Okay, so I think these are styrofoam. Hold on. You can use floral wire for this too if you don't have any 
left over where? Okay, so let me put that in there. Let that sit. Poking a hole in here. If you don't have one of these, these are awesome. It's called an awl. Um, I got this from Harbor Freight, but you can get them like probably at any hardware store. And um, they have sewing awls. Some people call them an ice pick. It's good for to have this point. I use this to poke holes in my shipping boxes when I zip tie my wreaths to the box. It makes it so much easier. Love it. I use it a lot. It's very handy to have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Kim. Are you kidding, girl? You're so talented. Okay, so now we got, you can make it into a pick. Okay, and these bend, so I want them to kind of stick out. No, I don't want them sticking out too far. So I want them sticking out kind of like that. That's cute. Okay. Then the flowers will hide. Should I put it right there? I already have a bee right there. Put it on that side. <laughs> you guys hear the TV? <laughs> Woo! Sound like Ric Flair out there. Okay. Turn this around. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in first, let the glue settle, and then I'm going to, there we go, cute, I'm going to add a couple of these bees, and then we'll be done. I got these from um, the Bam Reefs when she had them. But I think uh, Craft Outlet carries these. This might be one of these. Aren't these cute? Aren't these so fun? I'm going to bend this one this way so it's kind of... These are on a... There we go. Sticking out the side. Alright. There we go. <laughs> so cute. I love it. Aw, thank you, Susan. How fun are these? I'm probably not going to but I'm going to put some down here.
<laughs> that has been so funny. Every time he sees one of these heads come out, he goes, those things are so creepy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate it. There you go. We have little bees coming out everywhere. Uh, I just gotta find a spot. Hear that? Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, Kim. I haven't done a centerpiece in so long. There are little bees everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, so I got one left. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna kind of spread this out a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it right here where this tall, this one in the middle meets, okay? And I'm gonna cut this down. So that way I can put one right here. Bees, bees, bees. Or you can just kind of have them spread out a little bit. There we go. And there we have it. She is all done. What do you think, guys? She turned out cute. She turned out so pretty. Love it. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. I think she turned out really cute. Like I said, I'm going to go to um, Hobby Lobby sometime this week and um, get some moss and put in you can't see a lot of it especially in the front because i've got more in the front than i do in the back however you can see some of it like i can see if i go over here i can see the moss i mean see i'm just tired you can see the the base so but i think she turned out gorgeous amazing I had to cut her bangs a little bit because they were in her face. I pulled it down too far on her head, but I love her wig. And her hair is so soft. I'm going to brush it again. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate it. And thank you for the stars, you guys. I appreciate that, too. So, again, on Friday, 
Um, I think I will be doing another live. It's, I don't have the item in here with me. Um, but it's gonna, it's by, um, Be Delighted Creations. And it's one of those um, attachments, the lady where she's wearing the, like the Kentucky Derby hat, but it's in um, fuchsia and black and gold. So that'd be pretty. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that one on Friday in a wreath. And then on Monday, next Monday, I think I'm gonna do this. This is this amazing. <coughs> this is by, um, Originals by J.A.H. Look at that artwork. Look at that. She hand paints all of that. So Julie Hall by Originals at J.A.H. Um, she's done like four different witches, I think. Three or four. This was the last one that she did. And I, I saw this and I immediately had to have it. But I'm thinking of... I don't know I need your guys' opinion I need help with this because her she's got green in her eyes gray hair and then the leopard um so I'm gonna make a leopard and black bow but I think I want to put like some um lime green and purple like a dark purple flower I don't have any in here I have one in here that's kind of but I can't reach it it's way up there so I don't want to put any orange in it, but I'm thinking of like a dark purple, like the deep midnight purple and lime green. I don't know. What do you think? I'm thinking that would be pretty with some gold. Oh. Those bees are so cute. I wish I had more. I put a little bit more in the front, but that's okay. I've got bees everywhere. Ever were. What I might do, hold on, hold on. I think I might gotta take one from back here. You know, us designers, we're always creating. See, I cannot just not mess with it. We needed a bee right there. There we go. There, we needed a bee right there. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Okay, so I think I'll do that. I'll do the lime green and the dark purple. I think that would be really pretty with this. Because then that lime green will match in her eyes right here. Because otherwise, everything else, is there's a lot of black going on. And I want it to have some pops of color. So I think that lime green will do it. And that deep purple. This thing is so cool. I love it. I didn't think it was that big until I got it. But it'll take up pretty much the whole wreath. <laughs> All right, ladies. So thank you for coming. I appreciate you hanging out with me. It's been fun. I'm going to start doing lives again. So... Um, I will put notifications on my page of when we go on lives. I'll do events. So if you want to uh, do an event post, so if you want to, um, you know, say that you're going to the event, it'll give you a reminder so that it will help seeing how Facebook doesn't do alerts anymore. I don't know what their deal is, but, um, thank you all for, Hey Jojo's. We're going to need gold my work. Mm, yeah, that might work too. I don't know. Thanks, ladies. I appreciate it.